toenails for my big toes I lost them like my toenails came off like yeah imagine that just skin there toenails came off because I guess my toenail was pressed up against the the roof of the shoe too much I don't know what happened but just please buy a size bigger than your actual size and actually walk in the shoes to break your shoes that kind of happened to me but I did not lose my toenails it just like got it very discolored and it hurt me like it was so tender it, it felt hurts. as if it felt as if it was about to like fall off or fall out so I I was grateful that it didn't but Shami one mm -mm. came right <laughs> it came right up and um so oh, God, did I, you I get a size over yeah I did yeah so yeah, because yeah it's important to do that I did get like I got like two sizes over the shoes did I, honestly I did not like my carnival shoes I didn't really find what I wanted so I just I wore sneakers by the way we both wore sneakers yeah and in my opinion I think that Chami sneakers was more comfortable than mine but that's still gone so like I, mean, I, know, I really don't know how else I'd say to probably prevent the whole toe situation altogether like wear sandals what do you think wear a nice sandals that match with your yeah, thing like a think, gladiator not necessarily but me don't know if you understand my choice so like i think that's what i'm going to do this year but i give up my toenails though guys your toenails them grow back like in less so, than a year so yeah mm. but that was scary though in the backpack it was so annoying like from the moment we start the match me i lick everybody in them face and i was so apologetic to everyone i'm like sorry sorry <laughs> and then people are like me with them backpack and it's like honestly you can't even help it sometimes but no, it's for, annoying it's like when you want to dance and you feel the vibe and you swing to the right and then you swing to the <laughs> left and <laughs> you say hey and you go out and like oh you're hitting everybody and everybody <laughs> get a box <laughs> So that's like very inconvenient but the thing is i would tell the guys that oh don't get no backpack but how oh, when like they they look so bomb like big backpacks they are the vibe like it's that's what kind of makes the costume even more extravagant right mm -hmm. so like and i'm getting a big backpack this year shami backpack is going to be developed into a big backpack because <laughs> she's tweaking her backpack yeah. That, yeah oh she made her selection by the way in the previous yeah. um episode you see where we went to the band house yes definitely set on the 
costume that she is um, going to be wearing. So that is lit. So now we're both sure on what we're wearing. So that's really good. Um, something we want to touch upon in one of these episodes is definitely whining. Dance moves for carnival. Which whining is the... And guys, yeah, like... I know some of you guys are going to be like, what? Sue? I'm not a whiner. To be very honest, I'm not a whiner. She is more of a whiner than I am. We do my little thing, you know. But like, for go on bad... <laughs> this is Sue and little thing. For go on bad, for go on bad and name something there. Nah. I don't really my thing, but... I like to be entertained. I, I vlog everybody broken out around me or so, but you need to have the vibes when you go carnival. You can't go carnival and daddy daddy and boring. No. Especially if you don't drink. No, some people can't get high off them so own that energy. Me, so that me, especially if you don't drink, you need to come with a natural vibe. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. If you're not a drinker, mm, definitely. If you're not planning for drinking, and you're not a normally very nice yeah, hypes, hypes person. Right. And that's good. That's really, really good when you can't catch a vibe. And you know, for under no influence, you know? So, yeah. So, we're going to talk about um, place to stay for all the people coming from abroad, all right? All the foreigners, as a lot of people would state it. Um, so I know like for the past two years now, it has really grown in the sense where a lot of people overseas really want to take part in carnival. So I realize that a lot of people come down to stay and they will always want to find places and people always come to me and say, so where can I go to stay? I know you know places. Da, 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 da. So, number one recommendation is Airbnb. Airbnb, for sure. In places in Kingston, trust me, Kingston have some nice, nice apartments. Yeah, trust. And if it's not necessarily like want to drive or driving a car go home and find airbnbs along where the march is going to pass so like if you want to stop off when it's coming back yeah for true and then passing hope road you can just go in and over yeah. um um what is the name well one of them the name right they said they were no clothes right they said, yeah a lot yeah. of um airbnbs off that stretch right where the march passes. yeah you can just true. come off and go home literally mm -hmm. yeah you can just so walk. You can just if you're walk. staying at Spanish Court, anywhere in a new king, the march or past Spanish Court. Yeah. yeah. Very convenient area, Spanish Court. And prices to book place varies. Like, I would just put it for Airbnbs, for a decent place right now. One time, Airbnb did a little, little more um, affordable. But no, it it definitely hike up over the past two years. We watch the price them hike up. And it's a good hike because a kind of a season. Yes, a this is a season down. where a lot of people going come down. So, I need so to book it early. right, you need to book it from now. Actually, that is my recommendation. Book it from now, cause trust me, you wait till next month. Trust me, place I'm gonna book out already. The whole, cause remember the whole April is very active. A lot of parties going on. And so you need to make sure you really beat that rush, which you know people are that from now because people all have book place for dream weekend from now. So you have to make sure so you start out yourself where that is concerned. Now places to book the places can be anywhere from like I'd say 70 US dollars upwards. If you want to find a really nice Airbnb though, make us say budget it for at least hundred dollars a night. In my opinion, in some cases, I'd like for for instance, carnival. Kind of, I know so I'm going to be going to a lot of places like outdoors and so. I just book an Airbnb over a hotel because you don't need all that extra extra. Just book an Airbnb, a decent one with a nice kitchen and utensils. Yeah, but buy your grocery and cook. Plus, 
Kingston, I don't think Kingston hotels are all inclusive. So in no, room, Kingston hotels not all inclusive, darling. As in the sister, all of the, almost all of the carnival section, them sold Yeah, out. Uh, every minute you check the page, my sister, this is a costume, you're so loud. This so. year, it moved way speedier than last year, so you know, some more people are coming. So yeah. No. I know probably you guys are going to say which specific place they can book. Um, Airbnb, they have the reviews and such up, so you can just, when you go on a specific place, you can read the reviews and so Yeah, we almost reached gym, so that's all the time we have to talk about this today. So, yeah, I hope this kind of, you know, helped you guys out. And if it did, give this video a thumb up. Right now, you're gonna see the workout which I'm not going to show today's workout I'm gonna show tomorrow's workout because last the last episode episode I showed you guys legs day and today's legs day so I want to show you guys something else so I'm going to show you guys upper body tomorrow's upper body and hamstrings <laughs> she'll process it in her head so I'll see you guys in the next As plum clip. come out wait, no, wait what already where I'm gone. A coolie plum girl. I'm gonna see it. The big juicy plum. A coolie plum girl. Okay. Come in with a plum just come on what they are done. Anyways, see you guys in the next clip. Shami is going to school. 
going to drop her off and I kind of just wanted to bring this episode of our carnival series to an end yes um, as you guys know we switched to dog and such so as I said before if you have anything in addition that you'd like for us to speak about you can just drop it in the comment section feel free to do so um, I'll probably do a Q&A related to carnival just carnival nothing else but carnival I don't know we can help you guys out a little bit better um, yeah we had our meal I didn't um, really focus too much on the meals for this episode now I'm gonna draw this out no longer we'll see you guys in the next episode so go on big up on yourself and we do have a dancing episode coming up so yeah so yeah go on big up on yourself